biggest challenge is is to know what's happening. This is a part of this thing we call life. This too shall pass. And maintaining perspective, putting it in perspective. See, a lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. You've got to make those kind of declarations to yourself. I'm unstoppable. This will not get me down. What are some of those things that you can do during this period of time? Go for walks. Do some things for you. Just go for a stroll so you can engage in some reflective thinking on life, on yourself, looking and enjoying the universe, smelling the roses along the way. Listen to upbeat music, music that inspire you. I have only but goodies. I have strategies that I engage in to recharge my batteries. I'm preparing for that because I know things are going to happen that I cannot anticipate. A very good friend of mine died the other day. I had a program for myself. I have books that I read that inspire me, tapes that I listen to that fire me up because you're gonna have sometimes low moments when you won't wanna get out of bed. You just wanna stay there. At times you won't want to come out the house. The other thing is take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. Someone said we have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here. I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. So part of beginning to get unstuck, you've got to decide that the behavior pattern that you have adopted doesn't work for you. You've got to change your strategies, and changing your strategy means reinventing your life. Recreating you, and you have the power to do that. You can decide that you're going to change, that you're not going to be a wimp. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. You can decide that I'm going to live each day as if it were my last. You can, you have the power to make that decision. You can decide I'm going to work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. Next thing is separate what you do from who you are. That's what the guilt trap is about. See, a lot of folk won't let you forget what you used to do or what you have done, what mistakes you've made. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. A lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. And that's what you call life. I didn't do it like that. Oh, you don't want me to live that down. Huh? You want to keep on putting that in my face about what I did. Guess what? I'm not interested. That's what I did then. Won't do it today, so you are picking on an innocent man. So as you're in the process of reinventing your life, write a description of the kind of person that you want to be. What are the things that you must overcome? What qualities about your personality you know that you're going to have to change because those particular characteristics are liabilities to you? What are your assets? What are your strong points? Look at and evaluating yourself to make that determination. Other thing is that in order to get out of a rut, we need some coaching. Find some trusted critics. People that you know care about you and love you. There's some things that keeps us from growing and getting out of ruts. Number one, we identify with feedback. We take it personal when someone wants to give us some feedback on where we are falling short, tell us about our blind spots. We want to have everything being positive about us. We're not perfect. Get a support group, somebody that you can talk to. People who perhaps might have a similar problem. Support groups are very powerful that you can share some of the challenges that you're going through and it might 
be a situation where one person can give you an idea of how they handle that situation and create an opening for you. Begin to stimulate some possibilities in your mind on how you can resolve the problem. We can't grow by ourselves. As I mentioned before, we grow from people and projects. The other thing is about life, when things happen to you, when you permit things to use you, you can't change the past, but you can interpret. You can reinterpret how you see it. For years, I was going around with a heavy load on my shoulders, feeling bad because I was adopted doing interviews for adoption agencies and foster homes and I was on television once and I, I told these people in this particular interview that I was given away my twin brother and I when we were six weeks of age. A friend of mine fortunately was listening to the program and she said Les I'd like to have lunch with you and so I went over to see her. She said when a woman carries a baby for nine months Feeling that life movement in her, it's automatic and natural for her to learn to love that baby. To expect it to come here when she bears the pain to bring it into the world. Your mother, Mamie Brown, when she came in to adopt you guys, she didn't go through that process. She looked at whoever your biological mother was and said, I'll take her. You weren't giving away less. You were chosen with love. Same circumstances, same event, but reinterpreted. An interpretation that empowers me. So when you begin to look at your past, give an interpretation that empowers you. That's where I used to be. That's not where I am now. I'm growing. Let me tell you something about the mind, how it uses you tell you something super stupid that I used to do. Do you know for years I hated my mother and my father, whoever they were, because they gave me away as I thought at that point in time? And guess what? I didn't have any faces for the hatred because I never saw either one of them. And I said, I hate them for that. And then once I forgave them and said, it's okay. Had they not given me away, I would have never been blessed to have the mother that I have, who to me is the greatest mother in the world. But when I went through this process, saying forgive them, I remember in my mind as I was trying to picture these people, I had two individuals in my mind standing there with no faces because I didn't know how they look. But I released that. I let that luggage go. Think about somebody that you've hurt, somebody that you've disappointed, either deliberately or inadvertently or someone that has hurt you deliberately or inadvertently think about them somebody that that you really really when you think about them the, the room turns red look at them in your mind's eye and say I forgive you I forgive you unconditionally let it go if you want to be forgiven, you better forgive somebody. None of us are perfect. All of us have made some mistakes. And it wasn't easy. Let it go so you can grow. Reinterpreting our past. Understanding and knowing that we can move from where we are. That we can begin to design the kind of life that empowers us, that gives us happiness, that enable us to be on top of who we are. Knowing that as we begin to explore new horizons and new vistas in life, that as we begin to, to focus on developing ourselves, as we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, activating the thinker in us and dis disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, you can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. And there's still some things that will happen to you that will catch you on the blind side that you did not anticipate. You'll get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out.
You'll be able to get to your feet again, be on the ropes. But you have a fast recovery rate when you work on yourself.